EV tolls. Four years ago, when this air show was last on, the aircraft that some call flying cars were still kind of in the early design phase. But a lot can change in four years. Fast forward to today and EV tolls are everywhere. And that got me wondering where these companies think they're going to be four years from now. So to find out, I've given myself 24 hours to try and catch up with the EV toll companies here at Farnborough Air Show to see what the future might hold. You ready? Start the clock, let's go. First on my list was Whisk Aero. Okay, so what we've got behind me is Whisk's Cora, which is their fifth generation aircraft. Now, Whisk is a joint venture between Boeing and Kitty Hawk. And this aircraft can carry about two passengers with an autonomous pilot around 25 miles. Now, later on this year, in around the fall, they'll be bringing out their sixth generation aircraft, which will travel about 50 miles and carry about four passengers. Right now, this aircraft isn't certified to carry passengers. So I asked Whisk CEO Gary Geisen when that might change. So I'm not gonna say a specific date for us uh, because we're doing self-flying, which is a bit harder from a regulatory perspective. So no pilot will be inside with passengers. Our pilots are on the ground. So, um, yeah, I'm inside. This is, do you know what? This is gonna have amazing views. Um, you can literally see right down the edge. Not one for if you're afraid of heights. Enough of that, time to go see a bigger EV toll. Now this is the VX4 by Vertical. This can carry four passengers and has a pilot at the front. It's got a top speed of 200 miles an hour and a range of 100 miles. Or at least the company tells me it has, but I'll have to take their word for it as this one hasn't actually flown yet. We're a few weeks away from our first test flight campaign. We're really at this inflection point now where all the technology we need to build this aircraft exists today. In four years time, we're expecting the aircraft to be in commercial operation. So it's gonna be a super exciting uh, next three or four years. I'd love to stay and chat more, Stephen, but I need to run to the other end of the air show. Looks like we got one here. This is Eve, made by Embraer. Now, this model's had its wings clipped, but when it's in full production, Embraer say it will have eight huge rotors that span overhead and two at the back to push the EV toll forward. The current configuration that they've got it set up here is four passengers with one pilot at the front. The company says Eve will have a max range of 60 miles and a max speed of around 125 miles per hour. Now, Embraer say that they're aiming for 2025 for certification of this EV toll, and then by 2026, they hope to be carrying paying passengers. Right, there's two more on display here that I want to see. Best pick up the pace a bit. So this is Supinal's cabin concept for an EV toll aircraft. And this is about as far as the company's got so far. They haven't released designs for the exterior. They've worked in partnership with Hyundai Motor Group to create an interior that's supposed to have a kind of automotive feel. This design concept is so nascent, it doesn't even have space for luggage. Supernal tell me that that will come in later design iterations. We plan to have a flying prototype by 2024 and enter the market in 2028. Okay, that's one on display. Okay. Does this count? I think this counts. I mean, I'm way too big to fit in it, but this is another EV toll. This is Lilium. And what you're looking at is their premium cabin design, which fits four people plus one pilot. We've now completed, for the most part, technology demonstration. So we are now comfortable with the architecture, what it can do, and we're now moving to the industrialization phase. Now, what makes Lilium's aircraft really interesting is instead of having like four, six, or eight big rotors to achieve takeoff, they have a whole series of smaller ones, and the company says that this makes their EV toll a lot quieter. Lilium told me that they hope to have their aircraft certified by 2025, but I was curious as to whether it would ever be autonomous. Autonomy has a role to play because over time, you're gonna to want to defray the cost of pilots. We don't see that being necessary or desirable day one. So there you have it. According to these companies, in four years time, they'll not only be certified and flying, but also carrying paying passengers. And as for the autonomous versions of their EV toll aircraft, well, you might have to wait a little bit longer.